Let's discuss the concept of a significant interaction in a factorial study. Here I've drawn a few graphs that's gonna, that are going to help us understand what interactions are and how they work. On each graph we see on the x-axis the words stand and sit. We talked about our study where we're going to have actually three postures, standing, sitting, and walking. But for now, we'll just consider two. On the y-axis, we have words per minute. But really, it could be any of our measures. And then, as traces in the graph, we have the two keyboards we're considering, the Apple iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy. Of course, this is just made up data. The question becomes, is there a main effect of keyboard or posture. And a main effect would mean overall, just for keyboard, just for posture. So we can ask that question. And then we'd also ask, is there an interaction between keyboard and posture? That means would posture, say, differentially affect the performance of keyboard? Well, let's take a look. In this first graph, we can see that in both standing and sitting, the keyboards stay roughly the same. But there is a gap between the lines of the two keyboards. So we can ask, do we have a main effect of keyboard? Well, the answer is yes. Uh, assuming there are small variances around these data points, we can assume that for these graphs, then there's some separation between the iPhone's performance and the Galaxy's performance. That would mean we have a main effect of keyboard. Is there an interaction? Actually, before that, let's consider, is there a main effect of posture? Well, from standing to sitting, performance doesn't really seem to change. So there would not be a main effect of posture. And then is there an interaction? Is there a differential effect? Well, doesn't seem to be. A short way of seeing that is the lines are parallel. But what that means is that in both standing and sitting, there's no real differential effect on the keyboards themselves. OK, let's consider the next graph. Here we see that the lines are sloped and still parallel. What does that mean? Is there a main effect of keyboard? Well, again, in both conditions, we see the iPhone seems to be faster than the Galaxy. So we'd say, yes, there's a main effect of keyboard. Is there a main effect of posture? Well, from standing to sitting now, we see that there's a change. It seems that when people are sitting, they're faster with both keyboards. So yes, we'd say there's a main effect of posture. And then we'd ask, is there an interaction? And here we see parallel lines. We see that from standing to sitting, while things improve in terms of speed, they improve the same for each keyboard. So there's not an interaction. Let's consider this third graph. Here we see uh, what are sometimes called alligator jaws. In standing, both of the conditions, uh, both of the keyboards are basically the same, very close in performance. But in sitting, the iPhone has now become differentially better than Galaxy, which actually hasn't improved. So let's go through our three questions. Is there a main effect of keyboard? Well, overall, you can take the midpoint of the iPhone line and the midpoint of the Galaxy line, and there is separation. We'd say, yes, there's a main effect of keyboard. Is there a main effect of posture? Well, we can imagine a line up through the center here. And is that line sloped? The answer in this case is somewhat. Perhaps there is a still a, a small but main effect of posture. But the interesting thing is there's an interaction because the lines are not parallel, and the iPhone seems to get much better when you sit down and enter text on its keyboard, but the Galaxy kind of stays the same. So posture is differentially affecting the keyboard's performance. And this last graph also clearly shows an interaction. So let's do our three questions. Is there a main effect of keyboard? Well, maybe if we take the center of each keyboard, there may be a slight separation. So perhaps the iPhone still is performing better, but maybe, maybe it's too close to call. Is there a main effect of posture? Well, actually, if we draw a line between our lines here, we can see that overall, 
uh, there's not maybe that much change in posture. And then is there an interaction? Clearly there is, because amazingly, when you're standing up, you're much faster with the Galaxy keyboard than the iPhone keyboard. But as soon as you sit down, voila, you are faster with the iPhone keyboard than the Galaxy keyboard. Anytime you see the lines crossing, that's a classic picture of an interaction effect. Let's go now to our R code and do the analyses that will allow us to detect whether there really are interaction effects and main effects in our data.